seems to be a growing trend for MLS teams, Austin FC has now outbidded two legendary teams for players. First was Cecilio Dominguez as they beat Boca Juniors for his signature and now with our latest signing who turned down the chance to play with Marcelo Gallardo, the best coach in Argentina. With the Verde signal being lit last week, we confirmed what many of us already hope to be true, the signing of Tomas Pochettino, Austin FC's second designated player. Let's go over Toto in more detail. Hey, you don't want to be a bench player do you? Get on the field by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. You'll be first on the lineup whenever new content comes out. Let's get going. Pochettino was born in the town of Rafaela, Argentina. He just turned 25 years old, is 5'9 and plays as a center mid, mostly on the offensive end, but is a very versatile player. He started his career in the Boca Juniors Academy, eventually moving up to Boca Juniors 2 and the Boca Juniors first team. After only landing one appearance, Toto was loaned out to Defensa Justicia where he earned 49 caps. Eventually, his services were sought out by Club Atletico de Aras in Cordoba, where he played some of his best football. This last season in particular has seen Pochettino reach new heights and massively increase his stature in Argentina, being named the best midfielder in the Copa de Armando Maradona. As I mentioned, Pochettino is an incredibly versatile player. As he describes it, he can play as a double five, which I believe refers to playing with two holding midfielders, as a center mid, as a forward, or as a winger. Throughout his time in Argentina, we have seen him shine the most playing in the role of a number eight or a number 10. His playstyle qualities shift depending on the positioning on the field. As a 10, he will more often look for shots outside the box, through balls to the wingers and strikers, or for late runs into the box. As an 8 or when playing further back, he is capable of dribbling out of tight situations to break the press, then driving the ball forward, as well as using his incredible vision to pick some exquisite long distance passes. He is also good at and fond of combination play. He recalls that his time at the Boca Juniors Academy was highlighted by the two-touch playstyle that they inculcated on him from a young age. Regardless of formation, however, he is most definitely an attack-minded midfielder, with the creativity and the development of an attack that earned Reina and Wolves fever even before his breakout season. In interviews, he comes off as a cool-headed hard worker. He isn't the type to get extremely heated during conflict or to start any locker room drama. Despite having a preferred playstyle or position, Poche is willing to play whatever position is asked for him. He also fits the mold for many of the players the Twin Oaks have recruited so far. Pleasant to work with and manageable in the locker room, but with an intelligent bite on the field. Where should we really even start? Another young South American talent that is coming to MLS as he begins to hit his prime. Pochettino has the potential to be a Diego Valeriesque figure for the club and can either become a club legend or be sold off to Europe for a premium. Through what seems to be wizardry, we were able to acquire 100% of his rights from Talleres for only 2.5 million, a figure similar to that of Dominguez. Again, Pochettino is incredibly versatile and helps bring massive quality to arguably the most important part of the field in MLS, the central midfield. He also seems to be reacting very well to the pressure of being a star man for a new team, as well as showing loyalty to the Black and Verde. When foreign interest came knocking on his door, he said the choice was clear. Austin FC believed on him from early on, so Austin was the only choice. Take this statement with a grain of salt, as I've only seen highlights of Pochettino's game but I have not seen many players with such great vision of the field as him. He certainly has a touch of magic that can create great attacking opportunities out of otherwise stale moments in the game. And he isn't afraid to test a keeper from outside the box either. Honestly, I don't know. This was a player transfer that I was very excited for and fits a team like a glove. But there are a few things to point out. For instance, despite being a Boca Academy product, he didn't get much time with the first team, only getting one cap. His stats also aren't exactly stellar in terms of uh, goals and assists, but I think it's an incredible disservice to a player like Pochettino to judge his quality based on GA alone. Lastly, you could criticize the fact that we are getting a player that only has experience playing in Argentina, whereas a DP like Cecilio had experience playing in a myriad of environments. Nonetheless, the Primera División is a very high level of play, one of the best in South America, and adapting to MLS should not be difficult. Claudio Reyna's experience and guidance in obtaining talent has been invaluable for Austin FC, and placing trust in Pochettino by contacting him before he had his breakout season is paying in dividends. We could very well have a midfield maestro in our hands, and given the competition he faced in Argentina, I think he will adapt well to this new environment. 
Tomas is an exciting young midfielder that, along with Ring, has the potential to be the keystone to our midfield prowess, and seemingly has a loyalty to serve the Twin Oaks for many years to come. I can't wait to see him in Black and Verde. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Just a side note, Texas has been going through some pretty tough times with these winter storms. I hope you all are doing all right. The Austin FC players have started a fundraiser on GoFundMe to help the city through the 4ATX Foundation. I don't know if they're still taking donations, but if you can or if you'd like to, be sure to check out the link in the description to donate to a good cause. And remember, for more Verde content you already know, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at Twin Oaks TV. Stay warm, y'all.